Yo, what's good, everybody? Jping checking in line, man. RespectMyRegion.com. Back from the 2024 Respect My Region booth at the Flower Expo. We're in Greenfield, Massachusetts. I got a very good friend. You guys have seen her before on our on our interviews. We got Rochelle Gordon, an editor, Green State, respected journalist, cannabis reviewer, knowledge sharer, earth shaker. This girl literally makes it rain terps. How you living today? Make it rain terps. That's a new one. I liked it. That was a freestyle off the top. I'm into it. Uh, I'm doing great today. Day two of Flower Expo. Uh, a lot of folk walking around. Some great guys yeah. out here. Uh, yeah, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. We uh, have had a good two days on the show. A lot of good energy. Just a lot of great people in Mass, right? Um, you and I come from a lot of cannabis on the West Coast. We do a lot of travels. I describe you to somebody that you can trust that she has access to the best weed in the world. Uh, Rochelle has access to better weed than I have access to. So I trust her more than me. Um, you guys need to know that uh, Mass has some good weed. Uh, we haven't seen much, but we have seen some. So... What are your thoughts? We have seen some. Uh, I've been impressed by what did we impression? Impressed. Impressed. Yeah. Uh, I didn't ask you to try it, but they did let me smell the jars. There's no sampling sadly at the bench, uh, but they did bring out a jar for me to smell and look at. It was incredible. Um, I did get a joint uh, from Ideal Cannabis. Yeah. Apple fritter. This is buyer, and then I also have a joint uh, from I believe it's called Advanced Cultivator. A few people mentioned that those guys were to keep in math, so I yeah. went over to them. Nice guys. They have me up with Stella uh, Shane Giggles. Haven't spoken to you probably right after this interview. We'll go give it. Describe the dry pull, please, for the people. You guys, when you're reviewing weed, when you're checking checking products out, always hit the dry pull for the joints to get an idea of what the flower might have smelled like or tasted like. Yeah. Definitely uh, important when you're considering the products that you're purchasing. Cool. Yeah, honestly, like the dry pull for pre rolls every day. I'm actually uh, judging some pre rolls right now. And someone told me, like, literally just go through, dry pull all of them, and put the good ones on one side, the bad ones on the other side. You already know the bad ones are going to be not in the top tier. And I think that's an accurate thing. For this one, I'm getting like some brew candies. Yep. Definitely that Z coming through. It's not like a ton of aroma on the joint itself. It's, it's, uh, what would you say it was? What strain? Allegedly, it's Pink Skittles. It was Pink Skittles Light. Yeah, Pink Skittles Light. But there's definitely a dry pull there. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yep. Pretty flavorful, at least on the dry pull. Now, what do you look for when you're, when we're talking quality cannabis? When we're talking that top, the top of the top, the premium. Like, we're, we're coming from the West Coast. You're in the middle, is the Midwest, is Minnesota, what is that? Yeah, Midwest. Yeah, Minnesota's Midwest. Cannabis. Relatively new out there. Obviously, the Midwest definitely not known for having the best in the world. Like, that's fair, right? But what are we looking for when we're trying to really identify that top of the top? So when I'm judging weeds, there's the two things that I'm looking for. Uh, number one, I'm looking for visually, you know, a lot of trichomes, trichomes that are intact, a beautiful trim, nice color on a bright green, like lime green weed girl, not as into the purple. Um, then I'm looking for the, uh, the aroma, right? A very robust aroma, both when you open the jar or bag and then on the grind too, I like to compare both of those things. And then how does it smell, right? I don't really give a shit about the effect because that's so subjective. For me, it's more about, you know, how does the shit burn? You know, what the, uh, what's the smoked flavor like? Does it match of the aroma? A lot of times I'm finding that the taste and the aroma don't always bad. Yeah. I find interesting. Um, but, you know, having the fact that I'm busted, obviously it's going to change chemically what's going on with the butt itself. And that's really more of what I'm looking for. The effects are always secondary because they're so subjective. Yeah. Although I will say if I hit a joint and I'm immediately high, versus another product where I smoke the whole thing, I'm not high at all. It does make me kind of question the source material for sure. Absolutely, that makes perfect sense. Um, and here in Mass, you mentioned advanced cultivators. We've said Impress. We're going to go try to talk to Impress here in a little bit. Hopefully they're still over there. Um, have you noticed anybody else here that's really stood out? Um, like I said, Ideal was cool. Oh, Ideal, uh, yeah. Like those guys, they have a couple different brands. Um, there was uh, Squires, if you like, like uh, Link Liquids. Uh, Squires, Elixirs, yep. they're fire, they're killing it. Um, I did see some pretty nice looking hash as well. I didn't get to try any of it, but I actually got to smell a couple jars. I can't remember the name of the brand, but they were right next to the Squires booth. So make sure to go check those guys out. Okay. Cool. Fire, fire, fire. What, uh, what, what are you looking for here at Flower Expo? What are you on the hunt for? 
Honestly, I was just looking for the dankest weed and the dankest pad, uh, which is difficult and given the fact that you can't sample, but I've seen a few nice things. Yeah. Um, mostly I was just like, where's the fire and mass? Who's got it? I'm not really familiar with a lot of the brands out here. Uh, I do believe that your partners from Washington House of Fultivon have a license out here, what? but I haven't really seen them around. They definitely don't have a booth. I was hoping um, that Matt would be walking around. Yeah. Maybe he'd have some jars, but I haven't seen him. So it's been an interesting show. I feel like some people were just kind of trapped in the in the grind in Boston, just like normal. And we definitely saw a lot of people walking around. A lot of retailers have been mousing around the globe. So overall, pretty solid show. Uh, Rochelle, what would you say is the best thing smoking in your in, in our turp check together? What, what what what's the best thing smoking in your world right now? Uh, in general, sure. So I guess like for here, smoking uh, smoking that ideal uh, apple fritter was really really nice. Yep. Uh, we also tried that. Uh, I hate to say it, but that Jeter Bob Marley joint. Oh yeah. Although it didn't really get as high, it didn't have much resin. It did burn really, really well. Okay. Uh, for a big joint, the flavor wasn't bad. That was pretty good. Um, back in California, I would have to say uh, the Fig Bar, obviously, like the San Francisco Heroes for sure. They're killing it. Uh, I've been dabbing a lot of blobs, also Bay Area, great. Uh, and then down in LA. I'm not really sure about the LA brand. Is it Regals at all that LA? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I tried their joint. They're on here too. I yeah. tried one of their Massachusetts pre roll last night. That was really Pretty good. decent, right? Yeah, and like the little ninnies with like that thick uh, rolled up. Look yeah, the large. way the tip is thick. The, the tip is thick. And the packaging is too. So I'd have to give original the shout out. It's my understanding that they kind of just landed in that. Yeah. So, well, they've been here for a while to build that facility. Oh, not be that. Yeah. A couple years. That takes time. But yeah, I mean, Coast and Fulton seems like original was crushing. Yeah. Pretty decent weed, man. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you popping by. This was another episode. You guys, come on, man. RMR TV, Flower Expo Edition. Today's journey brought to you guys by Trees and our homies. Bada boom. Make sure you guys tap in. If you guys got any POS questions, any data, make sure you guys hit up the homies of Trees. You guys need to be featured over at Green State. You guys tap in with uh, the boss lady here. Rochelle Gordon. We'll see you on the next episode. We out. Peace.